special times when duas are readily accepted. 1. While fasting. 2. In the last portion of the night. To head jud time. 3. After every fart slash compulsory namaze. 4. Whilst it is raining. 5. After the tilawat slash recitation of the Quran. 6. Between the Tukbas on Jumu'a day. 7. Before the Jumu'a Salah starts. A Duamad between the Aden and the Ikama. Hazrat Anas ibn Malik Radiyallahu Anhu narrates that Muhammad peace be upon him said. A dua made between the Aden and the Ikama is never rejected. The Sahaba asked. What dua should we make, O racial Allah? He replied. Ask al Well-being in this world and in the hereafter. Termiti 3594. The dua made at Tahajjad is like an arrow which does not miss its target. Imam Ash Shafi'i weighs on getting your dua as granted one. Always have full faith in Allah and do all about it for his pleasure only. 2. When making dua to Allah say, Ya Allah accept my dua with the wasila of Muhammad. 3. Give thanks to Allah for what he has given you and he will give you more insha'Allah. 4. Beg Allah with his 99 names or ismazam or dua asma al-husna, which is very effective. 5. Make a stag far to Allah or ask for forgiveness with sincerity and try to refrain from sins. 6. Read at least three durud sharif when beginning dua and ending. 7. Make dua for your parents which is very important. 8. Make dua with a lot of feeling. Tear and cry in your das. If this not possible then make like you tearing and beg Allah for what you desire. 9. Praise and glorify Allah and reading Surah Fata is very effective too. 10. Try to remember Allah all the time and not only when in need and distance. 11. After making dua slash prayer read Yawahabo seven times, inshallah it will be granted. Our Muhammad peace be upon him said. Three supplications are answered. There being no doubt about them that of a parent, that of a traveler, and that of one who has been wronged. Termidi, Abu Dawad, Ibn Maya. Our Muhammad peace be upon him has said that whosoever goes to bed in a state of purity that is with Wadu, and such person remembers Almighty Allah until he falls asleep then. Whatever do a such person makes whether pertaining to this world or the next while turning side to side, such do as shall certainly be. Granted to him by Almighty Allah. Mishkat. Five people whom Allah will answer one the dua of a brother for his brother in his absence. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said he who supplicates for his brother behind his back in his absence, the angel commissioned for carrying dua to his Lord says Amin, and it is for you also. Sahih Muslim. To the dua of the one who is oppressed. The Prophet ﷺ set fear the supplication of the oppressed, for there is no barrier between it and Allah. Sahih al-Bukhari in Muslim. 3. The Dua of a Father for His Son. The Prophet ﷺ said three prayers are surely answered the supplication of the oppressed, the supplication of the traveler, and the supplication of the father for his son. Sanan Termiti, 5 500 halves. For doer of a righteous offspring for his or her parents. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said when a man dies, his good deeds come to an end except three ongoing charity, beneficial knowledge and righteous offspring who will pray for him. Muslim, 3084. 5 The Dua of the One Whom Allah Loves. In the Hadith Qudzi. Allah says and my slave will keep drawing closer to me. By performing the Nawafil voluntary acts of worship until I love him, and when I love him, I will be his hearing with which he hears, his sight with which he sees, his hands with which he strikes, and his legs with which he walks. And if he asks me, I will give him. And if he seeks refuge with me, I will grant him refuge. Sahih Buhari Nasiha advice. Making dua for others results in your dua being accepted. It is recorded in the hadith that the dua of a Muslim for the next Muslim in his absence is never rejected.
In another hadith, it is mentioned that when a person makes dua for the next Muslim, an angel is appointed to say amin to his dua and to make dua for him in return by saying, May you be granted the same. Sahih Muslim, Hadith 4913, narrated by Abu Darda. Salmon narrates that Raish Allah Muhammad peace be upon him said surely Allah is living, generous. He feels shy if a person raises his hands to him and he does not place any good in them. Abu Dawud. The Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said. The nearest a servant comes to his Lord is when he is prostrating sujud, so make supplication in this state Muslim.